Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video, my name is Matt. Today's video will be going over, I've done this before but I'm going to do it again as my video quality has improved a ton and I've got five new fresh maps that I just like to go over and give my opinion on and yeah, overall make a top five list. So no time to waste, we have five amazing maps, my top five favourite and you'll probably agree with them because they are some amazing maps by Oxygen David, some other people in there, amazing map makers, so I'm excited to get into it. Right, so at number five we have Lone Oak Farm by Bullet Bill. So this is, yet again, one of my favourite maps. I love this map. It's I'm just going to go over the basics of it and just what it's about. So Lone Oak Farm is a real-life replica farm in Oregon, USA. So that's cool. So it's a real place. Most of these maps are when the map makers make them and the majority of the map creators or modders on this list are Bullet Bill and Oxygen David. I think three are Bullet Bill and two are Oxygen David. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So, Lone Oak Farm, like I said, a real life replica of Farm. The map includes all of the features of Farm Summit Games. And I'm just like to say this now, some of these maps are just, I don't think they're in FS19 yet, but they will be coming soon. So, some of them are in FS17, not 19, so we'll have to see about that. But, Lone Oak Farm features custom crop, ground and foliage te uh, textures, animated gates, doors and lights, custom sky textures, multi-terrain angles and chopper straw. So a lot of stuff in there that like really spices the map up and makes it unique and that's what a map needs to be successful. And Bullet Bill obviously probably the most famous. Auction David and Bullet Bill are probably the best modders for maps, map wise. So that's why they're always on these top lists. So that's Lone Oak Farm number five. So now number four. And I don't know why I put this number four. I really like this map, honestly, I love it. And that is Marwell Manor Farm by Oxygen David. So Marwell Manor Farm is a map based in Hampshire, UK. So I played this map a lot. I played it a lot in FS19. When it was like one of the first maps out, I played it a ton. It was honestly my favourite. And I had to put it on this list. It, everyone loves it. It's an amazing map. Great job, Oxygen David. And yeah, that's number four. Can't really say much about that. It's just yeah, you probably played it, Marwell Manor Farm. If you have FS19, you've definitely played it. So that that's that. And it's a really good map, really realistic to the actual farm, which is cool, which is really cool. And number three, this is an FS17 map, and yeah. Um, it is Sussex Farm by Alien Jim. This is one of the more, like, more unknown creators. Alien Jim, you don't really hear about him much. But he did make this really awesome map that I played for quite a while on 17, and that's Sussex Farm. And Sussex Farm is a landscape similar to some areas around Sussex, UK, with random areas for placeable items. Three farms, 36 fields, 7 placeable areas, 5 grass areas, field missions, forestry, a BGA, and gold nuggets. Obviously we don't have gold nuggets in FS19, that's an FS17 exclusive thing. And this map is Seasons and Sugarcane Ready. So you've got mod compatibility, that's an amazing feature again. So that's really awesome. And Sussex Farm is honestly a great map. It's fun to play, it has a lot of features and it's just one of them entertaining maps. Like with little cool things, like there's planes that go over the air. And it's really awesome, just the sort of things that you like to see in maps. That really enhance the game really, like all maps are meant to do. And FS, yeah, FS17, that's the that's what the game the map's in, but hopefully we shall see in FS19, and I'm looking forward to seeing it then. I don't know when he's going to, like, port it over, I don't think he will at all, really, which is quite sad. <laughs> but hopefully he does, and hopefully we'll see that map coming shortly. So that's number three. Number two and the one, right. So again, the top two here. And this was a really, really hard choice. And yeah, so number two is, yeah, again, one of my favourite favorite maps. It's more to do, more about, yeah, FS17. 
I don't think it's on FS19. I don't think he's ported it across yet. It's one of the less popular maps by Bullet Bill. And that is Caldra Park Farm. Colborough, I don't know how to pronounce it. Cold, I'm just going to say Colborough Park Farm. And yeah, his description is Welcome to Colborough Park. Let's just say Welcome to the Farm. Based on a real life location and working farm set in a beautiful Herefordshire countryside. Enjoy farming across this British rolling landscape, whether you prefer arable, livestock, livestock husbandry or forestry, this map will suit you perfectly. So that means he's got a lot, he's got a lot of features to it, so you can do more than just the normal farming, and that really, that suits me, because I like forestry and I like doing normal farming, and that's why I played this a lot. And it was honestly funny in FS17, I really hope he ports it over to 19, as I'd love to play it again. And yeah, that's one of my favourite maps. Definitely, yeah, coming up there in the top two. Number one, you can't beat it though. It's my favourite map by a mile. Yeah, so number two, Colbra Park Farm, Bullet Bill, yet again. Um, an amazing job on that map. Amazing job on all of the maps. I don't even have to say it. And yeah, that sums up that. And the thing with Colbra Park Farm is that makes it unique. Is not only are there so many features like normal livestock, normal farming, forestry, and there's so many things that just suits everyone. It's just, the the whole landscape looks amazing. And it looks amazing when you're playing and you're farming, and I love it. Amazing map. I've got to give it a 10 out of 10. And all these maps are in the description. There's links to Mod Hub, so make sure you go check them out. They're amazing. And yeah. And moving on to number one, first place. Definitely my favourite map of all time. This was number one in the other list as well, and it's my favourite map by a mile. I love it. And yet again by Oxygen David. So Oxygen David, I think he's got, let me just check in this list. He has two in this list, so he's, yeah, he's done very well. And so does Bullet Bill. He has two in this list as well, and then Alien Jim, who, yeah, no one really knows him really. <laughs> that sounded quite mean, but yeah. I'm just going to get into it. So this is Sandy Bay by Oxygen David. Yeah, my favourite map. You will probably you probably all saw it coming. It's my favourite map if you are subscribed to the channel. And yeah, I'm just going to read out his description. And this is yet again another FS17 map, but it has been converted to 19. I don't know if it was by him or a fan, but it is still 19, so it counts. <laughs> Welcome to Sandy Bay 17. This is a fictional map set in Devon, UK, with many great views. So Devon, lovely place, and it's a great map, seriously. The the countryside, and then you've got the sea. You, great job, Oxygen, <laughs> great job. Right, this map includes all FS17 and FS19 features, like the other maps. Custom crop, or uh, yeah, custom crop and grass textures, with many other new textures as well. So that's cool, another cool feature. Two farms, wow, so there's two farms in this map. They've got the main one, I remember it now. There's the main one and then there's another one further down the map. And all the animals are at the main farm. And that's the one in the middle. So you've got two farms there if you're doing multiplayer. You've got a free cell point and a BGA, which is pretty awesome. And pretty much what you expect with an Oxygen David map. 40 free fields, which are all small, medium or large. So you've got quite a variety, and 43 is a lot of fields, <laughs> seriously. You'll have less big ones and more small ones, so you can fit in more fields, like that's why I assume he's done. And there are moving clouds, and that's just, you don't really notice it, but it's a small detail that's nice to have in maps, it shows they put a lot of effort into it. Over 20 new models made by himself, David. So that's quite cool, he's put a lot of time into this map, and he has, it's, a, it's not also a great map. Forestry and sawmill area and missions all included. So it's all included. Yeah, it's all included. So <laughs> that's all I can really say about that one. So yet again, there is forestry in this map, which is cool. Like there was in Culture Park Farm. And most maps have forestry in, I'm pretty sure. And there are lots of animated objects such as birds, cats, fish, snake, dogs, a train, boats, people, traffic. And these are for PC only, which is a bit of a shame if you play on console. But if you play on PC, that is a massive bonus. <laughs> and there is Chopped Straw as well, which is PC only again, unfortunately, for console players. 
and various custom sounds across the map. Yeah, that's, that's all the list. So well done to David for coming first with Sandy Bay, amazing map, and that's all I'd like to say. But if you do like Farming Simulator and you love everything to do with it, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I am um, Farming Simulator channel if you like do not watch my videos regularly. I make Farming Simulator videos, high quality, well high quality, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, it's fun. So make sure you subscribe and if you want to know when my videos are published and you want to watch them immediately, then make sure you turn the notification bell on and set it to all notifications so you don't miss out and... That's all I say, make sure you drop a like on the video if you enjoyed and you agree with number one, even though a lot of you won't, and tell me what your favourite map is down in the comments, because I'd like to know and read the comments, and I always reply as well. So yeah, that's all from me, see you guys later, bye.